Hello, my name is Martin Fahn with Telelogic Software, and in this video demonstration, we're going to be talking about deploying the DPX Master Server. So the first thing we'll need to do is download the DPX Master Server software, and this is deployed as an OVA file. So in your web browser, you can just go to the Telelogic Server website, telelogicsoftware.com, and under the Support Portal menu, you can log in to the My Support page and click on the DPX link for the version that you want to deploy. Within DPX 4.6, you can see uh, a software download section. So if I click on the link to that, you can see the two templates for deploying the master server, either as a VMware OVA file, or if you're deploying in a Microsoft Hyper-V environment, then a Hyper-V installer executable. The agents, which will be discussed in another video, uh, can de be deployed by downloading the applicable installation executables listed below for Windows, Linux, Novell, or Unix. So after we've downloaded our master server installation file in the format of our choosing, in this case I downloaded it as an OVA file because I'll be deploying to VMware, um, we can open up our vSphere client and deploy that OVF template. So I'm just going to log into vSphere and so select one of these folders, select deploy OVF template. And this is going to guide me through a wizard to deploy that master server exactly the way I want to. So I'll point it to that OVA file that I downloaded previously. And select the master server machine name and VMware folder that I want it to reside in. Select the ESX host that I want to run under. So once it's validated that that ESX host is capable of running this master server, I can step through the remaining installation parameters. So under the details, I can accept my end user license agreement. I can select the VMware storage pool that I want the master server to reside on. Select my virtual disk format as thin provision and select the network that I want it to live under, as well as the IP allocation settings. So by leaving these fields blank for my networking settings, I'm going to be using a DHCP server if required, and then click Finish to deploy that master server and import in the OVF template. So with our master server now deployed, you can now connect to the user interface or the DPX user interface. To do so, you'll actually need to download the DPX Java Network Launch Protocol file or JNLP file from the master server web server component. So to do that, I can just access that through a URL on my master server. So I'll point it, my master server is currently living on IP address 91 and the web server port for the master server is going to be 6122 and we're going to want to download the DPX JNLP file so type that into my web URL here and I'll go ahead and keep that file. Now once downloaded I'll need an open JDK installation for the computer that I'm trying to access the GUI from to be installed. Um, so when I download that file I can go ahead and open that using that Java WS component or Java Web Start component from that OpenJDK uh, environment. So in this case, I have downloaded an OpenJDK called Ice-T Web. And as part of Ice-T Web, it contains an installation of, of Java WS. And it will go ahead and download the GUI application for me. And from here, I can log in with a default username and password of sysadmin and sysadmin.